Hey, it's Brian from quantlabs.net. I just wanted to let you know what we got on deck for our, for our, uh, this week coming up into, uh, when is it? 218, February 18th, 2013. Um, uh, since I've been announcing, we've been working on basic strategies from our chosen, uh, open source trading platform. A lot of people have been coming out last week few days especially asking for this strategy that strategy this strategy be done that strategy be done to be honest we are so overwhelmed with just what we have on our own deck with what we're looking at um we've got about 15 that we want to work with we're gonna there's two of us um i've mentioned this before we've already started looking at pairs trading and moving average notice i'm not putting up the middle finger alone <laughs> to 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 Two strategies, yes. Um, oh, sorry, that's in France. That's a big no-no. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> all right, so we've got two strategies that we're experimenting with, and and that's all we're doing. We're just assessing them, getting them ready to implement into our chosen open source trading platform, .NET. Um, right now, everything is, is really good, very easy to pick up. Um, I'm going to uh, do a debugging session so that... Uh, my own quantlabs.net premium membership will see a debugging session with uh, Visual Studio to see how that um, strategy really works when it comes to historical data. Um, if you haven't seen some of the historical data that I can generate, um, you will save yourself literally thousands of dollars by not needing to buy any of these uh, databases out there. Um, mine's very cheap. 100 bucks a month and you can uh, it's just mind-blowing um, but uh, with that in mind being able to run all this uh, historical data against those two strategies with our open source trading platform we can simulate it and I'm going to run it through the Visual Studio debugger so people can really understand how this strategy works and how how it interacts with different data flows so I'm going to do a debugging session for that for my membership once I've completed that, then I'll do a whole webinar live based on that. And then not only that, but that will also provide um, my membership to ask questions about it so that they can get a good jump start on how to use a platform like this open source trading platform in .NET, I need to remind people. Um, and it's very powerful. It's not difficult to pick up once you uh, understand um, C Sharp. I've recommended a book last week on it, on uh, from Head First. It's a it's an amazing book. You, you could probably spend about a month reading it, understanding C sharp. It's not a very difficult language, and it's a very it's probably within the top three most popular languages out there on the planet. I mean, it's the most popular .NET um, programming language as well. And all the strategies are done in C sharp. The whole platform is written in C sharp. Um, and this time last year, I kind of fluffed off C Sharp thinking, ah, it's not good enough. Um, but I stand corrected by having real quants that use this language to show me how they can do some very powerful things that can do, and maybe even rival C++, C++ in certain instances as well. But I've got another video on that with some books to, I'll just look for a world-class developer. And uh, th those books will show you how to do that. And that can all be done in, in .NET. Um, so there's that. So the next steps are uh, all the quanti kind of things. We're going to look at ARIMA, GARCH, uh, autoregressive. Now these are probably strategies or forecasting uh, types that you never heard of. Um, they can and cannot work. It just depends upon the scenarios and the assets that you're watching. But they can be very powerful. And because you have a source code and now you can do it from the world of MATLAB, the prototyping is none other. There's nothing better than an environment like uh, MATLAB for prototyping. Ours, ours is good. But like, it's like comparing ours being a little boy and MATLAB is a big, big, bad bully that can really do some amazing things. So that's what's happening. Now, as I said earlier, I'm getting a lot of strategies because of that, they unfortunately have to be treated on a secondary level. Just due to the fact that um, we, we uh, myself and this other person, want to get to a point where we're very comfortable with the strategies. We know how to implement them. We've tested them with, uh, against real-world market data. 
um, and then we can also paper trade them as well in, in, a, in, in this trading platform that we have. As I said, this platform, I have not seen the capabilities in terms of auto backtesting, historical backtesting, paper trading. This is the easily the best um, trading platform I've seen. And the best part, it's open source and it's free. You can't beat that. So that's one of the other reasons why I've chosen it because it enables me to say to my membership, say, hey, you don't have to uh, invest a lot of money into uh, any trading platform. So if you saw my debacle with multi-charts, it's $1,500. Uh, trade station, I, I don't know where that costs. But because of this capability with this pl trading platform, it's so powerful. And you also get the source code for everything end-to-end -end with all the different components that come with it, even your connectors. Um, there is one challenge to it, is if, like, uh, which was mentioned last week, uh, regarding high-frequency trading. Is it, is it capable of high-frequency trading? Yes, it is, without a doubt. Um, the challenge is, is that there's a fixed connector, which is quote-unquote broken. Um, and, uh, you know, you can connect into something like Interactive Brokers with fix. That's not a big problem. The problem is, is getting this platform to work with it in the world of fix. Fortunately, um, there is a good alternative to quick fix. And we have a presentation of this software on Thursday, uh, February 21st, I believe it is. Yeah, it must be the 21st. From a person by the name of David, who is the author or the founder of a project called Fix Number 8, Fix8.org. Um, and he's going to talk about Fix as an alternative to Quick Fix. Um, last time I checked in with this project, it was only available for, um, for Linux. But that doesn't stop you from using .NET and then maybe writing a fixed server on a Linux environment and you have your trading platform connect to it on a Linux environment. That could be done, um, I'm, I'm wondering. Um, but we're going to have this uh, meetup online Thursday night and we're going to talk about it. But if we do go the fix route down the road, like obviously I'm going to be going through the TWS. I've confirmed that that works with this source, uh, open source trading platform. It does connect. Um, but down the road, I will want to use fix. So this might be an option I might uh, explore um, down the line. Up right now, we're focusing on strategies and, and specifically forecasting strategies. Now, there's also another question that's come up regarding risk management, uh, portfolio optimization, sizing of trades. So we got, we got we got some pretty institutional kind of players, some really big, big players in our, in, in our membership and, and in the community. The community is growing. We're up to, I, I don't know, maybe three to 5,000. I've lost count. Like, it's just, it's a lot of people. Um, but the fix is an important aspect when we do decide to go maybe potentially HFT using software. Now, there's a reason why I'm using Simulink. It's because it enables me, and I've demoed this before to my membership. It's a bit wonky, but you can generate C code from your Simulink model and then be able to, as I said, generate C code, but you can also generate HDL or Verilog or HDML, I believe it is, uh, for FPGA. Um, and that's all from the same model. So that's why I'm going that route. And again, you will not find a better way to do it. I don't like hand coding. Um, I personally am not a fan of building things from scratch. I know there's a lot of people out there, and my London quant friend is believes in that. And I've got some other people, uh, one guy out of Germany who feels the same way, all the power to them. Um, but they're spending a lot of time, day and night, working on these, these platforms and these systems, um, which I don't really have the luxury to do. So I try to uh, use uh, platforms that kind of exist and um, be able to build them up and then tailor them to my needs. So that's what I'm doing now. I, I've, I've, I've really thought about building and ruling my own platform, but that's a, that's a big, big, big project to take on. And I just don't really have the time to sit around for a year to two years, realistically, on my own to be able to develop a system like that or a platform. That's why I'm using the open source. And thankfully, um, the coding and the debugging process is a lot faster, I find. 
Um, so that's the route I'm going. Um, so now I'm, I'm now in the point where I can start focusing on strategies. And right now, we, like I said, we've got um, the moving average and the pairs trading kind of in the can now and understand it. I just got to do those uh, debugging sessions. So we're, we're, I think we're on the right track. There might be some other uh, people that want to stay in the world of Linux and all that. That's fine for them. Um, but uh, I've gone on about that, the Linux versus Windows world, um, the Java world and all that. But this is the tr a tr a track that we're, we're committing to. So any other new strategies we'll take on, but unfortunately they'll take a backseat to what we've got. And we've got quite some very sophisticated um, strategies that we want to experiment with um, and, and they're the best that you can get for forecasting the markets. No matter what dumbass out there you're going to believe uh, in terms of these Forex robots or uh, systems that promise the world and stuff, um, this, this stuff is what banks use and what hedge funds use and a lot of the, um, um, the, the high-end institutional players use. Uh, they just don't talk about it. <clears throat> so that's what we're focusing on, and uh, I'd love to be able to take on new strategies, but it's going to be a while before we start entertaining those. Um, just due to the fact of what's already on our plate for the next, uh, I don't want to say a couple of weeks, realistically a couple of months, but we don't really set deadlines. We just attack it, work on it, get it done, and work on the next one. So we can't really promise the delivery dates on when these things get done. Um, that's the unfortunate problem. If I really wanted that kind of op live like that, I'd easily take on a job <laughs> or take on consulting gigs, but I don't want to do that. Um, so that's what's going on. Uh, once we get through that, we will have a really, really, really good understanding of what works and, and what works in what scenario and on what types of assets. So that's our goal when it comes to strategies and market forecasting. And then from there, we'll start maybe looking at other strategies or there, we might start looking at other supportive systems like risk management, obviously, and uh, um, some you know portfolio, op which is very critical. But we're just going to take, I won't say take our time at it, but we're going to do it the right way and the methodical way to get it done right. So that's what we're doing. Um, hopefully some people have some patience with us uh, between me and uh, this other person who's uh, committed and stepped up to the plate to really help out. Um, to get to get to get this project done um, because it's important and it's important for the membership as well so they know what we're doing <laughs> anyways uh, I'll talk to you later and uh, maybe I'll see you online later in the week or another video and all that but uh, have a good day